Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So in this new lesson, what we'll learn is that how to add some rust effect. Okay, so we'll create a height map for that, like an, it will be a negative height map. And then once we will move to the albedos, we will use the albedo there. But for now, we'll just add a height map. So I'll go here, uh, move these apart so we can have a little bit more room. I will add it. Oops. I'll add a blend node here. Okay. And I'll use add value here for, for now. And then here I'll add a new uh, effect here, leaks. Okay. So I'll choose the leaks here. And leaks actually need ambient occlusion, curvature, position, and mask. So for now, we'll make two leaks, one for the effect and other one for the uh, like uh, like position here i will go back and add an ambient and ambient occlusion okay and then what we have curvature the curvature we will use the same one that we have here alt then Here at the picture. And position will be later on. Mask. We'll use the same mask which we used for the edge where there. I'll press Alt here. Use this. Alt in the mask function. Okay. So once we have this can go inside here and start increasing up this properties oops we need ambient occlusion so we have to bring whatever we brought it here for the, uh, the normal map so i'll take this same from here alt and use it inside ambient so now let's go back here. Now we can see that we have some stuff going on, some crazy stuff going on. Yeah, I think by default it looks good. So I don't want to change it a lot. I'll just add it here in the mask. Okay, and use a subtract. see that it's affecting the nameplate also i don't want that the same i uh like opacity mask i used in the last lesson i'll use the same one here press alt and add the opacity map here so it will subtract this name tag from there and it won't be affected okay And one more thing we can do here. What if I, because it's a, maybe it's a stainless steel or it's not, or, or keep it. If, if it is a stainless steel or, and if you don't want to put some rust on this part, so what you can do is that you can create another ma like mask of it or and like subtract it from this mask, okay? Like it can go bigger. But for now, we'll keep it as it is. Now I will add a level to it. And it use all the way back here. Let's see what's the value 0 0.0 0 0.01. I think 0 0.015. So yeah, 0 0.02 is fine, so we'll keep 0 0.02. And this is how it will look like. But for now, we'll just keep 0 0.02. And later on, once when we are adding uh 
like sort of a what you call albedos and then we can do the changes that we need to for here okay I can add here a frame and I'll call this a uh, leak leak uh, or rust because leaks we will create once we have our uh, albedo when we are working on al albedo we'll take this same uh, leaks from here and we will copy paste and then we will add a position to it so then we'll get some nice effect going on okay we have the leaks now what we are going to do is that we are done with edgeware rust i will take these from here move it somewhere around at this part because now we are going to create hinges because hinges are left so we don't have we have not created hinges So I'll make some space for the hinges and that we will learn in the next lesson. So I hope uh, you have learned something about uh, like in this lesson and thanks a lot for joining this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and I hope to receive your support continuously. I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents I will be uploading soon. If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button. And if you have any queries or questions, then leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And one request I have, and that is, I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing this, then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, Help me to get new subscribers. I will take off now, everyone, and take care, guys. Till we meet in the next class. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. There is one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find at very very expensive outside and I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.